The Celebration of Learning is a night where we invite all the students and their families to come together and explore all the different projects that the students have done, all of the different um, essays and presentations and posters and activities and labs even. I know that science is doing labs um, to demonstrate what content the students have covered throughout the course of the year and what was meaningful from that topic or that content. Uh, the Celebration of Learning is a first ever UT UPA event um, and it's a, just a chance for every single department to um, you know, kind of showcase the you know, fantastic students, excuse me, the fantastic work <laughs> that the students have been doing uh, over the course of the year. How impressed are you with your students and their projects? Uh, I'm, I'm very impressed. Uh, you know, I have, uh, I have all the freshmen, me personally, I have all the freshman students and, um, and so, you know, there's quite a range. Um, but you know, for each one of our different units, uh, some students have come up with some pretty fantastic work, and so I'm really happy to um, again just kind of show it off tonight. I'm actually really impressed. The I invited a few of my favorites to come and pres well, not my favorite students, but my favorite presenters to come and present their personal life symbol project, and some of them went really deep with their analysis of their life symbol. And then I have some students coming in to present on body biographies, which is a symbolic way of analyzing characterization. And there were some beautiful posters, but they also did a really good job of using symbols. Do you see the evolution of your students from the beginning of the year to now? I do see an evolution of uh, my students' knowledge, of my students' skills. I would say that the particular area in which I see growth is my students' ability to write a well-organized, logical, meaningful paragraph. Uh, without a doubt, um, you know, there's definitely the evolution just as far as uh, you know their particular knowledge in biology, and there's also just an evolution of their work habits. Uh, and, um, you know, some students uh, have you know, just grown to become you know, much more precise in. Uh, their measurement and, and more thorough in the kind of writing they do and so um, and so I think um, you know it's kind of a celebration of the evolution of their um, their study habits as well. What was the process of creating your project and what is your project? Uh, okay so my project is a genetic slideshow it's on muscular dystrophy and it's me and my partner Maya are doing it. The process of it was a lot of research a lot of research like um, I think about like maybe a week went into it and then um, but we got a lot done and we kind of like paced it out instead of doing it all in one day and then um, yeah it was actually pretty easy when I look back at it. What is your favorite thing about UPA academics wise? I, I like the teachers. Um, some are hard to deal with but I like for the majority a lot of them are nice and they care. Um, yeah I'd say the teachers. How excited are you to showcase your work? I'm actually pretty excited. Um, I've never really done anything like this before. I mean, I've presented a project in front of class, in front of a class, but I've never done it in front of like, you know, like an open house with a bunch of parents. I'm also kind of nervous that I'm going to mess up, but um, I'm excited for the most part. All right, so my project was um, a wave, basically. We created a wave using PVC piping for the frame. Um, we used strings and uh, washers, right? The strings are of different lengths. The longest string is about 18 inches and the shortest one is about 11 and a half. So basically they're, uh, the strings are set up at intervals of 0.25 inches. So like the longest is 18 and 17, 75, et cetera, right? So basically we let them go at the same time, which because of the different lengths of the wave and um, wave motion, then it, um, the strings, um, they move in the pendulum form and because of that it looks like there's a wave. Academics wise, um, my favorite thing about UPA academics wise would be the fact that the teachers, they're always there for you, you know? You like, you go up to them and ask a question, they'll help you out. It's not like some other schools where like teachers are just, they have so many students, they're overwhelmed, they're just trying to get their job done. They don't, like teachers here go above and beyond, you know? <laughs> How excited are you to showcase your work? Fairly excited. I mean, it took us a while to get the wave to like work perfectly. So, pretty excited to showcase my work.